Okay, uh, we are given the parametric equations of the curve represented by x equals uh, 2t cube and y equals uh, 1 plus 4t plus t squared. And we are told that the tangent line has slope of 1. And in this situation, we have to determine the points such that the tangent line has slope of 1. So let's see how to solve this uh, question. So first, uh, we have to find the slope of the tangent line. We know that uh, dy by dx, that is the derivative of y with respect to x, uh, this quantity represents the slope of the tangent line. This is uh, slope of uh, tangent line. So basically we have to first determine dy by dx using the parametric equations. And since these are parametric equations, we can write down dy by dx and uh, this equals uh, dy by dt over dx by dt. So we have to find these two quantities, that is the numerator quantity is uh, dy by dt and the denominator is uh, dx by dt. We'll find this uh, using the parametric equation. So consider the parametric equation x equals uh, 2t cube and uh, this implies when we find the derivative of uh, this x, with respect to t, we get uh, dx over dt, and this equals, we apply the uh, power rule to differentiate uh, t cube. So we put uh, two times of differentiation of t cube is uh, 3t squared. So this simplifies to 6t squared. Now let's find uh, dy by dt using the other parametric equation, that is y equals 1 plus 4t plus uh, t squared. So I'm going to find the derivative of y with respect to t. So I write uh, dy by dt. And this equals the uh, derivative of 1, which is constant, is 0. And derivative of 4t is, we put the constant 4. And derivative of t is 1, so it becomes 4 times of 1. Plus derivative of t square is, uh, once again, using the power rule, it is uh, 2t. So we can write down this expression as uh, 2t plus 4. Now let's find the slope uh, of the tangent line, which is given by this expression, that is uh, dy by dt. I'm sorry, it is dy by dx. And this equals uh, dy by dt over dx by dt. So let's put uh, dy by dt, which is 2t plus 4. And this is over dx by dt, which we found as uh, 6t squared. So I'm going to put uh, 6t squared. So therefore, this expression represents the slope of the tangent line. And we are already given that the slope of the tangent line equals 1. So we can equate this expression to 1. So therefore, we can set up the equation that is uh, 2t plus 4 divided by 6t squared equals 1 because uh, since we are given that the slope of the tangent line that is uh, dy by dx is given as 1. So when we can set up this equation like this and from this uh, we are going to solve for t. So first let me multiply both sides by 6t squared and when I do that I get uh, 2t plus 4 and this equals uh, 6t squared. Now I subtract uh, 2t and 4 from both sides. So on the left side, we will have 0. And this equals uh, 6t squared minus 2t minus 4. So basically, this is a quadratic equation, which we can solve by factoring method or by using the formula. So here, I'm going to uh, solve it using the factoring method. So first, let me write this equation as like this. This equals uh, 0. And so we know how to find, uh, in fact, uh, before we factor, we can divide uh, all the terms by 2 because uh, we have a factor of 2 in all the terms. So first we divide this uh, equation by 2 and when we do that, we get uh, 3t squared minus t and minus 2 and this equals uh, 0. So we see that uh, we should get a product of negative 2 and the sum of uh, minus t and uh, we should have the factor 3t squared. So we can write down this as 3t, the first factor, and then uh, in the second factor, I put the t. 
Now we have to choose the numbers appropriately. So the product has to be negative 2. So it could be 2 or minus 1 or it could be negative 2 or positive 1. So let's uh, try this. So here I'm going to put uh, plus 2 and here I'm going to put negative 1. So let me recheck. So this product gives negative 2 we have here and we should have a sum of negative t. So this, uh, this is 3t times uh, negative 1. This is uh, negative 3t. And when we multiply these two, 2 times t is uh, 2t. So basically we can add these two like terms. So we get a negative t. So which we have here. And then uh, if we multiply these two terms, that is 3t times uh, t is 3t squared, which we have it here. So therefore this uh, factorization is correct. So this equals uh, 0. Can put this uh, equal to 0. So now from this uh, equation, we can solve for t easily. That is uh, 3t plus 2 equals uh, 0 or t minus 1. This equals uh, 0. So we can determine the t now. We find t or we solve for t. This equals uh, negative 2 divided by 3. First we subtract 2 and then divide by 3 and here if we add 1 to both sides we get uh, t equals 1. So we have determined the two values of t that is t equals negative 2 thirds or t equals 1. So now we have to determine the points by substituting the value of t into the parametric equations. So first uh, let me rewrite the parametric equations. We have uh, x equals uh, 2t cube and then uh, y equals 1 plus 4t plus uh, t square. Now let's consider the value of t that is uh, t equal to 1. So basically we have to plug in t equal to 1 into the these two equations. So let's do that. So therefore we are going to get x equals uh, 2 times of uh, 1 cube and this equals 1 cube is 1 and 2 times of 1 is 2. Now let's uh, determine y. So y equals uh, 1 plus. We have to substitute the value of t into the equation for y. So it becomes uh, 1 plus 4 times of 1 plus uh, 1 square. And this equals 1 plus 4 times of 1 is 4. And 1 square is 1. So it is 1 plus 4 plus 1 which is 6. So we got the first point that is uh, 2 comma 6. This is uh, one of the point. Now let's uh, use the another value of t so that we can determine the other point. That is, uh, we are now going to use the second value of t which we found which is uh, t equals negative 2 thirds. So let's substitute in both equations. Let me substitute in uh, equation for x and this equals 2 times of t is uh, negative 2 thirds and this is uh, quantity cube. So this gives uh, 2 times of negative 2 cube which is uh, negative 8 divided by 3 cube is uh, 27. So we can uh, simplify this and this equals negative 16 over 27. In fact, uh, we can approximate this to uh, decimal value. And when we do this, uh, this is approximately equal to 0 0.6, uh, which is rounded to one decimal place. Similarly, we will determine the value of y by substituting into the y equation, we substitute over t equal to negative 2 thirds. So this equals 1 plus uh, 4 times of t, which is uh, negative 2 thirds plus uh, t square, that is uh, negative 2 third quantity square. Let's uh, evaluate this. So this equals uh, 1, uh, 4 times negative 2 is uh, negative 8 thirds, and this will be uh, negative quantity so I can put this as negative I'm sorry it's going to be a positive quantity because we are squaring up so we can put this as uh, plus this is 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9 so let's uh, evaluate this fraction so this equals I'm going to write uh, 1 as uh, 9 over 9 minus uh, we should make this as a common denominator so we multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. 
So 8 times 3, this will be uh, 24, that is negative 24, and 3 times 3 is 9. And I have this uh, 4 nines as it is. Now we have the common denominator 9, and this means uh, we can uh, combine the numerators, that is 9 minus 24 plus 4 divided by 9. And this equals 9 plus 4 is uh, 13 minus 24 divided by 9. And this equals 13 minus 24 is uh, negative 11 nines. So this is uh, negative 11 nines. And uh, we can uh, approximate this to a uh, decimal value that is 11 by 9, negative 11 by 9. This is uh, approximately negative. 1.2 when rounded to one decimal places so let's uh, put this in uh, x comma y format so we can write down the another point x comma y when t equal to negative two thirds and this equals we found this x this is the x approximately negative 0.6 so we can write down this is negative 0.6 comma and another this is the value of y this is negative 1.2 so we found the points where the tangent line equals uh, the slope of the tangent line equals 1. So the two points are uh, 2 comma 6. We will also include this in the summary of the answer. That is uh, the another point is uh, 2 comma 6. So these are the two points.